Hello summoners, welcome back to another damage comparison video. This one is going to be between Horseman Storm and Horseman Colossus. Now besides having Apoch, Colossus also has Emma Frost and Omega Red which makes him much much better for stuff like Labyrinth because it gives him a lot of attack based on his armor ups and also a lot of power gain from the Emma Frost energy. So as you can see like here we're not even going to bother with the parry heavy thing that much. We also have uh, like uh, the limber thing going so you can't parry that much in Labyrinth anyways. You can pop the white like I didn't have a slot available for white Magneto they were just better synergies for Colossus that is why he doesn't have the white max pre-fight. Now Storm you might be surprised like usually when you play Storm the best way to do that is to make sure that opponent has a lot of power and then launch a special which is not really practical in endgame scenarios because like let's say the opponent has 2-3 bars like unless that special attack is so big that it would finish off the fight uh, you don't really want to do that but Horseman Storm works a little bit differently basically what you want to do is um, once like uh, in the starting of the fight launch a special get the shock on the opponent and then from there just heavy attacks and you can get a bunch of shocks very probably like the strongest damage over time in this entire game once you, like it has I, I was easily able to build up to 100 and then I, I think the cap is 100 even though like after reaching 99 if you use a special attack you still get the shock and you can keep refreshing it but you won't get any more from the heavy attacks that is what i found at least from my limited testing but this is both of these characters they're 565 champions and uh, it's his storm her damage is going to just go up and up and up uh, like you can see you're going to see at 100 shocks you would be doing so much damage not you don't have to be close to the opponent you don't have to do anything it's just that and it's not very stressful to play unlike some characters where uh, like a good example is civil warrior where he has big damage potential but in order to do that you have to dash back hold a block even ca other characters who have to use heavy attack like gamora she uh, whenever you use heavy attack refreshes all her buffs but even then like if you miss it you lose all your buffs uh, same can be said for she hulk i guess but uh husband storm is much better if you lose the shock then also you just losing one or two uh, so you can you have a lot of time basically like you can see in a fight this long this guy has over three million health points is uh, what a five and a half minute fight for both these characters uh, if you are not making mistakes and if you are a player like me because I, I am pretty I'd say average slightly above average maybe skill wise uh, so if I can do it you can probably do it as well so uh, she is she does not have a very high skill cap just parry heavy um, white magneto purified is very very helpful here because uh, she is a character who uh, like because it relies on sun because you have to do heavy attacks and she has she doesn't have a huge heavy reach like cable i would say that from being the horseman of apocalypse cable and storm probably benefit the most uh, like there are a lot of good characters who are already good like archangel who are great horsemen but these two they're bad without cable and uh, without apocalypse and they're so good with him and I'd say Cable, uh, even though I still think he is slightly underrated, not that many people are using him as a horseman. Uh, if you see a lot of top 10 lists, he's usually not there. But And I, I have also not included him in some list. Saying that, if you consider horsemen, then the list would be very, very different and complicated. But... I'd say Horseman Storm is, I really do not see anyone using her, but her damage is that good that you can, you should use her in all types of content. Like even if you can't get to 9900 shock, the damage is very very good, it's not very stressful to uh, keep and there are not that many shock immune characters in the game. Also, she has another synergy with Storm Pyramid X, I believe, which uh, gives her some kind of utility against some certain debuffs. I'm not sure, but it's worth looking into. I personally have a 6 star SIG 40 Storm. So uh, now that I have Apocalypse, I am thinking about taking her to rank 2 and using her actually in stuff like, uh, you know, Cavalier difficulty maybe 
or all kinds of other stuff and i think she is going to be very very good for it but as you see colossus will end up taking the win but not by that much that is going to do it for this one thanks for watching have a nice day subscribe to the channel for more content like this video share with your alliance stay safe have a good one bye bye